Donnie, where are your helpers? They let me down today. It's just me and Donnie. Hey, yo, while we're here, give us a thumbs up for filming and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> what are we gonna do today, Donnie, after they subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up for, for uh, watching your video? We're gonna, uh... Well, I've heard some people say that they shouldn't give a thumbs up till they watch the video because they're stingy like that. Well, that's fine, but don't forget. Yeah, that's true. But you do forget if you wait, so you know. Yeah, go ahead and hit it now. Now. Then, all right, what, this is what you do. Hit it now. And if you don't like it, go back and take it back off. Yeah, that's true. We're up on the, up on the scaffolding. I keep saying we're because, you know, Donnie's working with me, you know. Now, uh, uh, I was just going to say something else. Anyway, what are we doing today, Donnie, so that they know what this video is going to be about? We're going to start on this side of the ceiling, start putting the beadboard up. See, we already did this side. Did they see this? They probably watched this video, didn't they? I uh, probably. This back room looked pretty rough before. The roof was pretty, uh, the ceiling, I should say, was pretty hey, screwed well, up. Remember that beam over there? Everybody said, oh, don't touch the 4x4. Four four. Don't touch the 4x4. Four four. There, were, there were posts over there and 2x4s up on the roof. The ceiling holding up the ceiling because there was originally no beam in the middle of the building holding the rafters. <laughs> and you see right here, this was the whole problem. Yeah. That rafter goes from there to here and stops. The rafter only went halfway, but there was no center no wall center to, to hold them up. And we don't know if that's original or not, but it sure seems that way because there was a tin ceiling with no marks where there was ever a wall in the middle of the building holding the roof up. So, kind of looked like whenever they built it, they didn't ever put a beam up. So we put a beam in. There is a post inside that column there. And it's all held up real nice and solid. And uh, now we're putting in a ceiling. So we've got everything pretty flat and we're putting in a, a ceiling, which is this beadboard stuff. Looks great. But uh, we gotta cut it and put it in. So if you didn't see that video where we were putting all that in, go back and watch it. It was pretty cool. But we're going, me and Donnie are gonna start Donnie and I are going to start on this side today. What we're doing is we're just running flush with this beam and then just working our way to the wall. Simple as that. We got to clean up some of this trash that's up there. All of that old wiring we are not using anymore. That was wired uh, hey, man, up hey, before. Right there, so everybody's going to think we're we'll using no, we'll we're not. We're not using old wiring, people, because the uh, we don't like whenever there's Romex in commercial buildings. Taking all that crap down. Depends on where you're at, whether that's legal or not. I think it's not against the law. The national code, from what I understand, it's not against the law. It's not against the code, but a lot of municipalities do not like it. And we don't like it either. <laughs> we like the stuff to be sheathed in a cable so it's more protected. So we're gonna get rid of all that, clean this up a little bit, and start running through it. We started painting some of the walls earlier too. You'll see that in a later video. But... What do you think, Donnie? Thank you, I'll read that. Read that writing over there. <laughs> Y'all, what's coming? This new nail gun, though, is driving it so tight. It's, it's yeah, closing you, the gap. It's, it's putting them up there so tight that when you put the next groove on, it won't quite go up over it. You gotta loosen it a little bit. Um, which I guess we could we could probably do it backwards and fix that but oh well like if we put the hung side first it would have fixed it well you're supposed to nail these through the actual tongue itself now by the way people these are all seconds they all have a C mark on them which I guess means coal yeah so this is how good seconds look to me this is like freaking Hollywood. What do you think, now This is Hollywood up in here. Hollywood. Hollywood, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> so to us, this is like top notch, and I think I think everybody's I think everybody's gonna agree. Now I hate to speak for people, but I think everybody that comes in here is gonna be like, man, that back ceiling looks great, especially if they ever saw it uh, before we started doing it. So we've made our way past the beam. Now this beam, we were gonna finish, cause it's just a plywood beam. You know, it's one of the 
what's it called? Lamp uh, engineered lumber. So when they put it up, we thought, ah, well, you know, nah. I think I'm just gonna leave it. I like the way it looks, man, and it kind of matches the ceiling a little bit, even though it's plastic. So we're going to clear all of this and leave the natural beauty of the wood. What do you think about that, Donnie? I think it's gonna look gorgeous. Donnie's all about natural beauty of the wood. Natural beauty of everything. <laughs> I like the backside of the Chevrolet. <laughs> Wait, are you quoting song lyrics again? No, uh, think, think about it, all my Chevrolet, all my Chevrolet trucks are, are doors. <laughs> Got the wide booties on. <laughs> all right, so we're going, we're going. How come that one's shorter than the last one, Donnie? We're just running into that. That's probably why they're cold. Yeah, see, some of them are the wrong length. So see how that one ends slightly, it's held an inch shorter than the other one? But down there, they line up, so. It's just what it is, people. You can, see, you can see it over here too. They're, you know, stacked a little bit. See it? But to me, I think it looks fantastic. Hit it, Donnie. Go for it. Yeah. Woo! That's how you do it right there. Now don't do you gonna do the bump fire. Hey. Hey, you're putting extras, don't put extras. We'll see them all. Yeah, so our Milwaukee uh, uh, Generation 2 Brad Nailer, we are very happy with. We think our Generation 1 was just war slapped the hell out. But what that tell you? People used it a lot. Well, evidently Milwaukee knew that there was a problem because they redesigned the whole gun. Yep, they, everything about it's redesigned. So, but... Now, We've been working, we've been filming for 10 minutes so far, and we've only got four rows in. But people, that's just how it is, okay? This kind of stuff, Donnie, are you being paid to do this? Nope. I'm not being paid to do this. Nope. I'm so, actually paying to do it. Yeah. So we're doing some of the labor ourselves, saves us a bunch of money, you know? But it's slow when we do that, because we take our time and, uh, you know, well, take it easy. We're not trying to kill ourselves up here. It's not necessarily that we're taking our time to do it right, because we don't necessarily know how to do it right, but we're doing the best job we can. And see, I keep a pencil in my pocket. Yep, right then, there. Then I got to go look for my hammer. I don't remember why I put it in So here we're ready for our next board. All right, so I got to get to cutting people. What's the matter? You burning? <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna have to edit that out. They might Google it. Later. I'll, uh... All right, we're back. Now he's working on some stuff. Don't worry, Donnie, I edited that out. Oh, good. That's good. Boy, he's been working straight through it. Check it out. Are they, are they blowing the horn at us? I think so. It's starting to look less like a dungeon back here, Donnie. That's good, man. Good to go. Look at it. Look how cool. I'm making yeah. everybody dizzy with all the beautiful light colored pine. And everybody thought we didn't do it. Yep. We was the one that taught everybody what to do. Exactly. Started out, me, Donnie, and Joey. I should say it in a different order. You're not supposed to say me first. Oh. Donnie, Joey, and I did it all by ourselves. But then, you know, we decided we'd hire some people. So they've been helping us. But typically, we used to, Donnie would do a lot of the work. Actually, Joey did a bunch Joey of Joey would do a lot of the work, too. I can clean up, though. See, I've been cleaning up. Like I've been sweeping the floor and everything. <laughs> All right, Donnie, what length does that one need to be? 49 and a half. 49 and a half. Here we go. He keeps forgetting stuff up in the ceiling. Hammer and block of wood. You gotta keep on touch. I don't want to The nail gun's gone. Nail gun's gone. Is a blue on the video that I cannot see in real life. There is a blue dot on the video that I, do. that I cannot see in real life. It must be some kind of reflection from the light bulb or it's a ghost. Do you still see it? 
A little bit. It looks like it has fingers in front of it. Oh. All right. So we've been working for about seven hours, about eight hours, and we got this much done. But that's pretty good for us. We're kind of slow, but we got more than half of this one half done. We're getting close to uh, having to put them extra set of sockets in. All right, Donnie. I'm going to have you finish it up. And whenever you finish up all of the wood, you can film the last part of the video and show them. Here's the second day of running, y'all. Exactly where that one is, we're going to put it there. We're going to mount. We're, we know what it's supposed to be off the wall, but we need to find out what it is off that wall. We know what it is off this wall. We'll get back with you when we get some more done here, and uh, I'll show you what's going on. Okay, y'all. We're over here. We've got about uh, maybe four or five rows left, but we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're having to shim every once in a while. We'll have to shim a, a uh, rafter to make everything stay straight. But it's no problem. Just keep shimming and going. But we got it looking good there. It's uh, it's going to be good. So I don't know uh, how these series are going to come out, but. We're looking good on it. Hopefully y'all like what you're seeing. Give us a thumbs up. Y'all coming back every week. You might as well. Thumbs it. Thumbs it. But thumbs it that way if you don't like it. But I'm sure you'll thumbs it that way. So we'll see you shortly. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like when we get finished here. Right, that last piece we had to cut down to two inches, two inches, here they are. We just ran it down through the uh, table saw and we ripped them to two inches. Two inches, got our table saw set up right there. Just shot them through there, three of them. So he's gonna try to finesse them in there and we can get we might have to trim them. Might have to trim them a little more. We'll see in just a few minutes and we'll let you know something. because it's too tight here to get in the lock. Watch the day of There it is. You drove to the middle of the. Where are the rest of them? It's bueno. Okay. Put sand this down just a little bit. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna relock it. What our problem was, we were so tight right there, we couldn't lock, but we didn't want to cut it way down because then we'd been gapping out there and gapping back there. So, you know, like we talked about before, these 
these walls are doing this because it's old hand done plaster. You can see here, it's half inch thick. Plywood, yeah. yeah. Here it's half inch thick. And uh, over here it's quarter inch thick. And there it's inch and a half thick. So it's all different all through there, but that's the way this stuff goes. So anyway, we're gonna get these other two pieces up real quick and we'll get back to the last piece going in. We're gonna lock it down in there. We've got to we got a little pry bar that he uses to lock it in with because it's so close to that wall. We're going to just lock it. I'm going to stand it up where I can get nailed in. was falling down his shirt. That's why he was mad because he's tired. He's loving, he's loving the new gun. All right, catch y'all on the next one.